That was one sexy song. Welcome back, everyone. You're listening to Sound K, and I'm your DJ Stephanie. We've got some feedback messages, and I really appreciate that. So let's share. If I can't read everything tonight, don't worry because I will make sure to share these during the weekend. And first of all, we have Nat and Luna fly from Malaysia saying. Well, I don't have any Korean friends, but I would like to know them if I ever have the chance. Yes, and I am kind of a regret that I don't join the student exchange programs to Korea during university time. Oh, that might be a very good experience because uh, the thing is, when I go to school, wow, we're talking about school. I haven't attended class for a long time. I only went there twice. I'm such a bad student. Anyways, um, so when I see the exchange students, they are very curious about Korean culture, and uh, of course, I do speak English. And then other, you know, classmates they don't really speak English, so I always help them. And uh, sometimes I do help the. Substitute, I will say, or you know, we bring the guest professor from uh, the overseas, and uh, whenever they need a trans translator, yes, uh, they use me, of course. Um, but uh, you know, once they get to know the Korean culture, they just love it, and they always say that they don't want to go back to their own country. I know they're you know half just joking, but it's that. Much that Koreans are so like open to, of course, the foreigners, and、um, you know, the, we really want to get to know each other and、uh, other cultural thing. You know, we want to learn, and I think student exchange that system itself is just incredible. And、um, yeah, Natalie, if if that didn't happen in school, maybe you can just come and visit. That's okay. And Malaysia. You know, it's Asian country, so I think it's a、uh, there is a high percentage, you know, possibility for you to visit in Korea、um, easier than、uh, people who live in far, far away, right? Anyways, but it is fine. I have Anni, my friend, right? Of course, don't forget me.、Uh, we have Amber. Uh, from the state, saying hello, Stephanie and hello. So I have some fans around me. Actually, my friend Mindy is a fan. It's our meeting anniversary today, and we met exactly today, three years ago. So you've been friends with Mindy. Say hello, <laughs> and、uh, you guys are keeping a good friendship for three、uh, years. That's、uh, that's amazing. Thank you, and we have Abla from Morocco saying, "How are you, Stephanie? I'm good. I hope you got much better. Yes, of course. And I have a very beautiful friend and enthusiastic Korean friend. It is you, Stephanie, <laughs> and you're the only Korean friend that I talk to every day about everything, and we share everything together. Well, that that is true. I do know the updates of our listeners, which I love about." Yeah, I think that's all about it. Seriously, like sharing and communicating is the key point, and that is the reason why that we are having this, you know, arena. So, <laughs> thank you for being my friend, Stephanie. Well, my pleasure.、Uh, we have、uh, Simeon Awana from Romania saying, "Unfortunately, no, I don't have、uh, a Korean friend, but I would like to have one." Hmm. Once I tired of making a Korean friend, but it was difficult for us to communicate in English. Ah、uh、ha! -huh. It's always the language that that's like an obstacle for everyone. But this is what happened. The first day that、I、attend school, I was what eleven years old when I literally just moved to the states. I speak no like zero English, like no English at all.、Uh, but day one, I made three amazing friends, and I think you know they spoke English, but I couldn't speak like any of English.、Uh, but I was using my body language and my personality. Actually, they really loved it. So, if you try, you know, hard. And、uh, I think body languages is it's an international thing. So 
、uh, even you guys don't speak English, well, there might be a barriers. But if you try to understand and if you focus to each other,、uh, then、uh, you know you guys probably might become a good friend. But for now, you're saying no. But hopefully, you get a, a nice Korean friend in the future. So, Simi and Oana, thank you very much, and everyone who sent those amazing messages. I really appreciate that.、Uh, and we have more messages, but for now, we have to take a short music break and come back. This is Parami Prova, The Wind Blows by Forty. Welcome. It's time for Sound K. Yeah. All right, what's good, Stephanie? Take it over. Yes, everyone. It is Monday, and tonight, of course, we are going to have a star date. But guess what? I am sure that a lot of our listeners are pretty excited. It is two four K. They are going to be here, of course, Corey. He is going to be here, and all the members plus the cheese balls. Yes, they all going to be here. So if you guys have any question for two four K, make sure to send in your questions on our message board. It is www.adirangradio.com/soundk. And on October eighth,、uh, we are going to invite Daya in our studio. So please,、uh, as well as a two four K and Daya, send in your questions. For other segment corners on Tuesdays, we have Tell Me Tell Me Season Two, where we give you advice on anything and everything from schoolwork to love. And on Wednesdays, we have Song Express with Corey of Two Four K, where we ask you to send in your song request to continue the relay. And then, of course, on Sundays, our favorite segment corner, we let you, our listeners, to become the DJ of the night with my playlist. So please leave us one theme, with three different song choices that you like to share with SK family. I'll be waiting for your message, and do not forget to send in the reasons, um, the ex explanation of reason why you pick those three different songs, why you want to play this, the, your own playlist to our listeners. Okay, so I'll be waiting for it, and let's move on to this or that. You know, I am always curious about our listeners, since we are having this cold, breezy, you know, autumn breeze.、Um, all of a sudden, I was thinking about winter. I'm sorry, I'm a little ahead, but I'm going to ask you this question. Here are the two options. Let me know which one you choose. It can be a little random, but here we go. Tonight, this or that question is: When you think of winter. What comes to your mind first? Number one, Christmas. Number two, New Year's. Aha! It's so hard. <laughs> number one, Christmas. Number two, New Year's. Let me know. Send in your feedback message on our message board with the title "This or That." Of course, me. Ay ay ay! I cannot choose, but um, I might have to go with the New Year's because on Christmas Day. I don't really have any memorable Christmas day, you know. Isn't isn't that sad? But、um, I was working, either working, or maybe because I couldn't visit my parents. Maybe that's that's like a big deal. Spending time alone, and I just treated like a. It's just like a you know, it's just like another day. I prayed, you know, because it's like a big celebration of Jesus' birth. But I didn't actually do anything. Maybe I was working last year. I don't really even remember what I did last year, last Christmas. But New Year's somehow I wish a lot, and I set up the resolution with our listeners. It's like whatever I do with our listeners, it's more memorable. So I have to go with the latter one. So I'm gonna pick New Year's. How about our listeners? Send in your feedback message with the title "This or That." When you think of winter, what comes to your mind first? One, Christmas. Two, New Year's. Okay.、Uh, we have a feedback messages, but first of all, Hindun from Indonesia saying, "You lived alone since sixteen." Yes. Well, 
Um, the thing was, I was trainee. Yeah, and、uh, I lived in dorm, but、uh, pretty much I was taking my、uh, own responsibility, and、uh, I had a curfew at that time. So my parents was like SM Entertainment at that point. So yeah. Anyways,、uh, I cannot imagine to live alone in Indonesia. There's no culture of living alone while we have a family. Oh, really? Hmm. Excuse me. Uh, except because of a study or work. So when you study abroad or when you have to work, you can be separated by、uh, from your parents or your family. But not really. You can't really say, "Oh, I'm going to live alone." Really? Ah. Even after getting married. Uh huh. People here tend to live close by their family. That's nice. Just like my village, and almost all the residents are our relatives. I'm so jealous.、Uh, it makes me wonder: Will I survive if I live alone? I am 24, but it seems I have no courage to live alone, and it must be bad. Yeah, not really, Hinden.、Uh, the thing is, I'm very used to live alone, and I now, if I have to think, living with. My parents, then that'll be stressful. I'm sorry, mom and dad, but、um, this is the truth. Since I was away from my parents for a long, long time, now thinking and going back and living together, ay ay ay. No, I cannot really imagine myself, you know, being a, such a baby. You know, you know,、uh, uh, it's not my style. But anyways, it's it can be a very cultural thing. But、uh, me, my case was a little different because I had to come to Korea. Um, and assign with you know contract with this、uh, agency. So, well, it's life. <laughs> Anyways, well, thank you very much. <clears throat> and HDM one five one two from India saying hello, Anni. Big shout out to two four K who will be there in the second half, of course, waiting for their live song. Anni, I have to、uh, have. Korean friends here closest is Jimin Onni. She's so cute. Oh, Jimin from Fifteen, and she's she's so adorable. I love her energy. Just love it. Shiraya from Bangladesh saying yes. I have some Korean friends through SNS. Good. I have one Korean friends who live in Bangladesh. Her name is Jiwon. Ah, pretty name.、Uh, she has been here since、uh, three or four years, I guess. Da 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 da. But we live in different cities, so we just talk or chat through SNS. Why not? See, you do have a friend. Oh, that's a good friend. Shreya, thank you very much for sharing、uh, your message with us. Okay, everyone. So now, what we're going to do is listen to one more track and continue. And this is something by Girls Day. Yes, everyone. That was hashtag Love Me by Melody Day. That was a very cute song. Okay, so now we are going to share some feedbacks, and uh, uh, for the intro feedbacks, I will make sure to share this uh, later. But um, since it is time、uh, for to move on to this or that feedback message, I'm sorry, but I will make sure to read that during the weekends. Okay?、Uh, we have Eva from Czech Republic saying this or that. I'm not sure. But I think I first think of the Christmas, maybe because it is the time when the whole family is together. We watch fairy tales in the TV, oh, and most importantly, we eat delicious Christmas Eve dinner and Christmas cookie. I love it. I'm so jealous. Oh my gosh. Uh, Eva from Czech Republic. I used to do that. I know.、Mm-hmm. Like Thanksgiving Day, or Christmas Eve, and even on a Christmas Day. Easter, you know, we,、uh, I used to when I used to live with the parents. Oh my goodness, that sounds so long ago.、Um, my aunts, my relatives, they're all in the states, and、um, we just gather up and just brought just friends and friends' friends and friends from friends. It doesn't really matter, and everyone was there just having a fun time. And I still do、uh, have a great memories. But、uh, somehow, since I am working,、uh, I'm just reminiscing. But、um, most of people will think of Christmas、uh, when they think of winter. Yes, but I do agree with you. But、um, Eva, I cannot really be related to the situation for now. But in the future, yes. Heather from the states saying, 
So New Year's come to mind when I think of winter because I am always looking forward to celebrating the coming year. Christmas really isn't that meaningful to me. Always alright these days. Now that most of my family has passed away, oh, I'm sorry, or lives far from me. Ah ha. I just have my twelve-year-old son. Oh, you have a son, and he is、uh, past the whole in its Christmas phase. LOL. K-、uh, Kitty came in South Carolina from the state. Well, well, thank you very, very much for your feedback message, Heather. Right? Okay. Uh, but um, you know, you have your son, and you have your own family to celebrate. It, Why don't you celebrate Christmas as well as the New Year's? Just having a warm, warm Christmas day. Yeah, thank you. And we have Abla from Morocco saying, "New Year's always all right." You guys are really surprising me because I never, I didn't expect for our listeners to say New Year's. But anyways, because we don't celebrate Christmas. Aha. And、that's another reason, and also because of all the special stages and shows of K-pop music show. That's nice. Abla from Morocco, thank you very much. Taha from Korea saying, "I choose New Year." Oh, that's another one.、Uh, saying so, when I was younger, I used to think that Christmas was very special, but as I grow up, not really. It's just another day. Ah, I second to that. Christmas. Uh, after Christmas,、uh, you prepare for the new year, and it's end of the year. And end of the year, we watch a lot of、um, concert, which is like、um, like a singing concert, such as Kayo Dejan or Kayo Techukje, which is the、um, music festival in Korea. And I imagine my future me, and I put the list. For my bucket list, which is good idea,、uh, not yet. The winter is not here quite yet in Korea, but I already am setting up for my next goal for the next year. Ah, really? That's pretty soon, but I like it. Taha, thank you very, very much. <clears throat> Excuse me, and、uh, we have Sharia from Bangladesh. This will be the last one.、Uh, so when、uh, winter comes, I just wait for the New Year's Eve because I don't really enjoy Christmas that much.、Uh, like I enjoy New Year's Eve, and New Year's Eve is special. Also, get excited. So that is why I choose New Year's. Thank you very much. Very well done. Okay, so now it is our time to wrap up the first part of the show. But I will see you guys on part two and two four K. They are going to be here. The last song is "Cardiac on the Street" by Two Wells, featuring Mumyeongjin, and see you guys on part two.